I'll just try show my screen one second. Right. There we go. Cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'm here today just to give you a bit of an insight about how I found my maths degree at Leeds. So I guess first things first, uh, my name is Ellie. I am a third year maths student. Oh, one second. Just had a... There we go. <laughs> I'm a third year maths student. Um, I've just finished my final year at Leeds and it is honestly, the last three years have been incredible to me. Um, I've been able to meet some lifelong friends and also learn about some incredible areas of maths that I never really expected to learn um, when I was applying at A level. So I suppose at the kind of stage you, you all are at now. So when I originally applied my interests were mainly maths but across the last three years I've been able to learn more about coding, space and astrophysics. So it's been nice to not only learn more about maths, but also develop interest in other areas as well. So following on from my three years at Leeds, I am going to Cambridge in October to study a master's in applied mathematics, where I'll be specialising in fluid dynamics and astrophysics. So after my master's, I'm hoping maybe, you know, potentially doing a PhD or work um, for a space company like the European Space Agency. Um, at the moment, you know, I absolutely love maths and I'm hoping I can carry that momentum forward on my master's and hopefully towards a PhD as well. And it's quite nice that I get to talk to you today because a lot of my friends are doing, you know, accountancy, um, actuary, going to be teachers. So it's quite nice that I can offer a little bit of a different, I suppose, career path. Um, but if you have any questions about those careers as well, um, I'm happy to answer those because a lot of my friends have gone down those career paths. So, oh, I've lost my mouse, there we go. Uh, and also I just thought I'd start by saying that I actually have two YouTube channels. So the first one is just my main YouTube channel and on here I talk about everything to do with maths at university. So I thought if I talk a little bit too fast today or you miss anything that I say today, then you can always go and check out my YouTube and, and see what else uh, you know I get up to. So I've done videos on you know my honest opinions on studying maths degree. Uh, it's all positive, don't worry. Um, and then everything I've learned across my three years and also just days in the life as well, which hopefully you might find useful if you're wanting to get a taste of what it's like to study a maths degree. Um, I've also just included on there the campus tour. So I appreciate obviously if you're wanting to study at Leeds, not everyone can visit in COVID times. So I did do a campus tour of the whole campus. So if you're interested in looking at what Leeds is like the campus wise, then uh, that video is, is quite useful because uh, I walked quite far around Leeds that day to, to make a, a good video of it. So I'm going to start and talk about why I love maths at Leeds so much. So one of the first things that stood out to me when I first started applying and throughout the duration of my degree was the variety of modules that Leeds offer. Um, Leeds offer around 100 different modules. These do include um, discovery modules. So this is what was available um, from the maths department over the three years. And I think roughly every year you will take between seven and 10 modules. It could be less, it could be more, depending on kind of the modules you take. Uh, and I understand you're all obviously good at maths. So, you know, you can tell that there's a lot more modules on offer than the modules that you can take kind of thing the modules you need to take so because of this I was able to learn a whole range of different maths so I started oh I've lost my mouse again sorry about that um so I started you have compulsory modules in your first year which means you have to take certain modules and then you get given um you know some credits left over to take other modules which I'll talk about in just a second um and the modules you are given are incredible I was exposed to so many different areas of maths and I was like whoa this is so cool um you know I thought I loved a certain area of maths and I was exposed to more areas of maths and it was just this kind of domino effect of wow there is so much maths that I can learn and it and it's been absolutely incredible um, so the good the good thing two ways of the, the fact that there's so many modules on offer is that you can specialize in certain areas so I was able to specialize in more fluid dynamics modules because that was the, mod the modules that I enjoyed the most but if you just love to learn loads of different areas of maths the, the good thing is you can just take a whole variety. So another thing that was really good were the discovery modules. So aside from compulsory modules, you get given certain credits that you can take up with other modules. And what discovery modules are, are they are offered by different schools? So I was able to take modules from the School of Physics and Astronomy and the School of Computer Science. So what's really handy is say you're going to you know, study a maths degree and you're thinking, oh, I, I do still like a bit of physics or I like you know, other areas. You can actually take up your credits in other areas as well. Um, but for me, because I love math so much, I just use all my discovery modules by taking more math modules, which again allowed me to, you know, see a whole 
variety of, of different modules. So that was one of the main things that stood out to me at Leeds is the variety of modules that are on offer. Another thing as well is the help that you get from academic staff. I was honestly blown away by how friendly every single member of academic staff are and not even just academic staff just staff within the the school of maths everyone there is beyond friendly if you are stuck at any point in your in a module or anything you can literally just email the lecturer especially in covid times i've i've had lecturers that have said right we'll just have a teams meeting or a zoom meeting and we'll we'll talk you through it um and yeah i was just blown away by not only the help that i got if i was say struggling with a certain module but just the help that i got from the, the department themselves. Um, before university, uh, I ended up having a bit of a, a head injury and I was a bit stressed before going to university and Leeds Maths Department got everything sorted for me and it just helped reassure me. So yeah, um, I honestly can't, I've such, whenever people ask me about maths at Leeds, I just have amazing things to say because they've, they've been phenomenal throughout the last three years that, that I've spent there. So another thing as well is study spaces. So Leeds, um, where the maths department is, there are loads of different places you can study. So you've got the cafe, which you can grab a bite to eat and also study along with your friends. You've got little seminar rooms and also the library. So Edward Boyle Library is just below the maths department um, and you can go there and, and you know do a bit of maths with your friends. Um, but the study spaces are really helpful. Um, and also the good thing with the study spaces are the lecturers uh, rooms are not too far away so you can you know go and ask questions if need be and then the other thing is the math society so at the University of Leeds you have um, the student union and at the student union you have loads of different societies that are kind of running so you can do football society all sorts of stuff we have the math society and that is a great way to meet friends they do socials so if you're into going on nights out they do nights out but if you're not into that then they also do other types of you know uh fun i guess society run events um it's been quite good to be a part of that because you meet so many other people from math so if you do come to leeds i recommend definitely signing up to the math society so what else is great about Leeds? They also offer internship opportunities, which um, essentially you can be a research intern over the summer at Leeds. So say you find an area of maths that you really, really like. Leeds then, pub maths at Leeds, publish um, a list of internships that they run over the summer. Um, and essentially you can work on an internship over the summer and learn more about maths. So that's something that I found really cool was that Leeds offered that opportunity if you know you weren't going to do an internship elsewhere. Um, the other thing as well, and this has been helpful for a lot of my friends who are wanting to do um, accounting professional qualifications and actuarial qualifications as well, essentially the certain modules that Leeds offer mean that you can get exemptions from exams that will lead towards your professional qualifications. So chartered accountant for example, certain modules that Leeds offer mean that you can um, not, you don't have to do certain exams towards that qualification. So I know one of my friends um, hopefully will have been exempt from three exams towards his actuarial qualification. So if any of you here are thinking, oh, I want to go down that route, um, Leeds offer some incredible modules that allow you to get gain exemptions um, from certain exams that take you towards your qualifications. And then I thought I'd just include this statistic because I thought it was quite interesting. 92% um, of graduates are in further employment, uh, sorry, in, in, uh, in employment slash further study after 15 months. And it kind of just goes to show how employable Leeds students are. Um, I remember reading somewhere, I think when I first joined Leeds, was how high the you know employment, and you can see there 92%. Um, if you do study at Leeds and particularly maths, the employment rate afterwards is, is incredibly high. You know, all of my friends um, have gone on to do further study or employment, uh, into employment, um, despite being in a global pandemic, which <laughs> on top of everything else has been, you know, pretty good. So all of my friends that have studied maths are, are now in full time jobs or doing a master's like me. So now I thought, you know, I talked a bit about why I've enjoyed Leeds so much. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how it's helped me um, in terms of you know going forwards after my degree. So the range, firstly the range of modules has allowed me to understand which areas of maths I love the most. So I've talked a lot about fluid dynamics, um, I'm going to specialise in fluid dynamics and the fact that I was able to do fluid dynamics modules at Leeds allowed me to understand that yeah this is the area that I love the most. Um, it's just been you know whenever I talk to someone about studying fluid dynamics and stuff I understand it might be a bit too much but I just smile because I enjoy it so much so 
I'm looking forward to learning a little bit more about that when I go on to study um, more fluid dynamics at Cambridge and I know that if it wasn't for doing those modules that I would never have been offered a place from both Oxford and Cambridge to study a master's um, so I'm very grateful to Leeds for offering those modules um, and allowing me to secure a place uh, at the University of Cambridge. So something else that Leeds has massively helped me with. So I, in second year, we were given compulsory modules and some of those compulsory modules along with first year modules actually allowed me to gain an internship as part of the Space Placements and Industry Scheme which is run by the UK Space Agency. So that is me there um, on my remote internship. Obviously it was supposed to be in person but with Covid it kind of uh, put things remote. Um, so yeah I was able to essentially apply for this internship and a lot of the internships I found on this scheme were looking for a math student so you know tick straight away I've got math, math, math degree I'm, I'm studying maths um, but also there was a specific mod, specific internship that were looking for specific maths uh, and because of the modules I studied at Leeds I was able to get that internship and since then I've been able to kind of go on to do a whole range of different things with the UK Space Agency so I decided to include this because it just shows how something at you know those modules at Leeds has allowed me to get an internship and then from there I've been able to do the following things. So um, I don't know if any of you are into um, space or anything but NASA's Perseverance rover uh, landed on Mars uh, back in I think it was February uh, and I was asked by the UK Space Agency to present the live landing along with um, Ministry of Science. I appreciate you're all probably you know A-level students I think TikTok is the in thing right now so I'm not sure whether you know any of you know who Ministry of Science it is um, but I was asked to do this along with the Royal Society of Chemistry so I was able to present this and it was honestly incredible um, I was able to you know broaden my my skill set as it were um, and also it was nice because one of the modules I learned at Leeds uh, one of the discovery modules was a physics module and it talked it kind of was a lot to do with planets um, so a lot of the stuff that I learned in that module I was able to talk about on the live stream so that was really really cool um, and then alongside that the UK Space Agency asked me to present um, this UK it, it was the NASA Perseverance film and it basically just talked about careers in the space sector and obviously I'd just done my internship and so I was able to interview a lot of experts in the field and yeah be fortunate enough to present this this film and, and hopefully encourage more people to get into the space sector. And then finally, along with this internship, um, the, U the University of Leeds featured me in their 2022 prospectus, which if any of you have got the prospectus for Leeds, um, this picture will be in it. Um, yeah, <laughs> it was quite a surreal experience. I'm not really used to, you know, putting makeup on and, <laughs> and having my photo taken. So it was quite surreal that this was a thing. But the reason why I included this in here was because the University of Leeds actually allow you to apply to be in the prospectus, which is an, another amazing opportunity. Um, essentially, if you've done any work experience or you've, you've started up your own company, there are loads of different things you can apply for. Um, and if you apply for it, then you can be fortunate enough to be in, in the prospectus and have a really surreal photo shoot. So I thought I'd just mention that um, as part of one of the experiences I had at Leeds. And then the next thing that Leeds has helped me with, and this has been quite a, quite a big thing for me really, is Leeds offer a computational maths module. Now, I had never done coding at all before my degree. Um, I love maths and I knew that I, you know, wanted to do maths <laughs> throughout my whole degree, obviously studying a math degree. Um, and essentially this maths module, this computational maths module, it incorporated coding with maths and it just sparked my interest massively. Um, I had never really thought much about coding, you know, I talk a lot in this presentation about how I love astrophysics and space um, and coding, but I never did, my, my A-levels were just maths, further maths, English literature and theatre studies, so I'd never done any physics or any com computer science, so it's nice to be able to show you that you throughout your time at at university you can honestly have so many other interests that are sparks alongside maths um, that fit really nicely with maths so essentially I was able to learn coding and then I kind of got stuck into it I was like okay I want to do loads more things to do with coding maths fluid dynamics all this stuff um, so I decided to set up my other YouTube channel uh, which is called code of the future and it was essentially just to kind of make beginner Python videos and kind of fun tutorials um, 
alongside my degree, you know, learning about maths and coding and stuff like that. Um, and since then, I was approached by Bright Network, who you may have heard of. They have their own technology academy and they use my videos to teach over 400,000 of their members. And that was an incredibly surreal experience. So the reason why I include this today was because that one module I did with Dr. Elwes, who I think has just joined uh, the room, it was the best module that I'd done at Leeds. It was so incredible and it sparked my interest way beyond like anything I expected. And because of that, it has led on to some incredible opportunities. So I guess finally some advice from a math student. The first thing is applying. Um, the best thing I think from a math student, I guess, you know, I, I'm not <laughs> the person who's admit, admitting you or anything, um, but just make sure you get across how much you love the math that you do. What I've always said across my YouTube videos and to anyone that I've spoken to is if you love what you do, you will do so much better. You know, when it gets that little bit harder, it's actually easier because you love it so much. Um, yeah, just honestly, just get across why you love it so much and why you want to do what you want to do. You know, do a bit of research into what leads offer. Um, I do have a video on my YouTube channel where I talk about everything I did in my first year so if you watch that and think oh yeah I really want to do this module then talk about why that would interest you and why you would love it. Um, you know I appreciate I applied I think four years ago now to university so things may have slightly changed but I guess the one main piece of advice is just get across why you love maths and, and why you want to study it. So this is another really important thing is when you do get to university, make sure you take modules you enjoy. I found that the modules I enjoy the most are the ones that even if they do get hard, are the ones that I end up doing better in. Um, I made the mistake in A-levels of taking one A-level um, because my friend was doing it and that just went terribly wrong. Um, and then I got to university and one of my friends had said, oh, I don't want to do, you know, everyone seems to think fluid dynamics is really hard. And I was like, okay, I'm going to stick, stick it out. And, you know, here I am today going to to study some fluid dynamics at, at Cambridge so I'm you know I'm best advice I would give is just do modules you enjoy find things that spark your interest and and take those modules the next thing is don't put too much pressure on yourself I can say from someone who's just done three years <laughs> at Leeds it's very easy to kind of put pressure on yourself when you're at university you know despite what um kind of subject you are taking um just take it in your stride you know don't put too much pressure on yourself you're there to have a good time you're there to enjoy what you do and I think as soon as I switched my mindset of oh I really need to do well to well I'm going to enjoy everything I do um I realized that you know that eased the, <laughs> the stress on me um the next thing is ask questions this is so important if you are stuck ask questions if you're interested in something ask, ask questions um if you want to learn er more areas of maths ask questions just ask questions i know that's i know i keep repeating it but that's the best thing I, I can say if you're interested in something the best thing you can do is is learn more about it and uh, equally if you're stuck on something in in a subject just ask the lecturers all the lecturers at, at maths um in leeds have, have been phenomenal whenever i needed something clarifying or anything like that the final this is is the final thing no second second thing to final thing <laughs> make the most of it honestly you're there to have a good time you're there to learn about some incredible areas of maths just make the most of it find out areas that you you think oh yeah i really want to do that um yeah that's that's probably the best thing is make the most of of the fact that you're there at, at you know studying maths and also extracurricular as well i decided to show you a little bit more about what i got up to and what leads allowed me to achieve um so yes yeah, just enjoy what you're doing um, find modules that you love and hopefully you know get some extracurricular things out of it as well because my internship actually allowed me to learn even more about maths um, which was <laughs> pretty incredible and then I guess the final thing is um, work hard uh, you'll get the grades you want if you do work hard but also just remember to have fun you know you're there to have a good experience don't put too much pressure on yourself just go enjoy the math the math is incredible I, you know I keep saying that the maths at Leeds is absolutely incredible and you learn some amazing things so just have fun and enjoy what you do and I guess the final thing to say is thank you for listening I hope I haven't talked too fast when I get a bit excited I, end, I tend to talk a little bit too fast um, but if you have any questions anything at all then I'm happy to answer them in the Q&A. Mm -hmm.